Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Tuesday, October 11th. And I remind you that lots of great stuff is at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And you can join us here for worship every Sunday at 1030, or you can worship virtually or by drive-up. My scripture today is from Ephesians 4, verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. This is the word of the Lord. I was flabbergasted the other day when I read something that just blew my mind. Do you know how we all primp in front of the mirror and very few people can walk by a mirror without taking a quick look? Even people that aren't particularly vain, we like to keep track of how we appear. And if there's a blemish or a sore or a scar from a surgery or any such thing, we're kind of disturbed if we have a bad hair day. There are so many things that can throw us off. There was a woman the other day in line with me at Big Lots who had spilled something on her blouse during lunch. Well, you'd have thought the whole world had come to an end. <laughs> well, I have news for us. Believe it or not, sociologists have researched what are the best strategies to look younger to other people. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Wouldn't we all like to look a little younger? I couldn't believe what they discovered. The one trait that makes you look younger to other people is if you have a heart filled with, I'm stretching this out, I know, compassion. What? Could it be? Yes, if you are a person that has compassion for others, not a complainer, not a whiner, not someone who categorizes people as the other or argues or is angry at the opinions and perspectives of others. No, if you have a heart full of compassion, believe it or not, it shows itself physiologically. So I'm going to work on being a lot more compassionate. <laughs> well, we certainly ought to because of our faith, because Christ Jesus was compassionate in his ministry, even reaching out to those who were cast off by society. And so perhaps we might discover the fountain of youth if we learn to live more compassionately. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you would fill our hearts with compassion, not so that we can improve our looks, but so that we can more closely follow the will and word of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.